Let's now shift our attention to Lebanon, where the government has stepped down in response to the massive street protests against the country's political elite, announcing his government's resignation. Lebanon's Prime Minister Hassan Diab said that there was a desire for real change in the country. He blamed last week's massive explosion on years of corruption and mismanagement and promised to fight alongside the people of Lebanon. Lebanon's president has asked the outgoing government to stay on in caretaker capacity on the streets. Very little has changed despite the government's resignation. Protesters gathered in central Beirut and hurled firecrackers at the police, while security forces pushed back using tear gas. The protesters feel that Lebanon needs long-term changes rather than knee-jerk reactions. The government's resignation has deepened the political crisis in Lebanon and has also left Lebanon's bailout talks with the International Monetary Fund in a state of limbo. It will be months before elections can be held, leaving the country in a state of uncertainty as it deals with its biggest crisis since the civil war. France has urged Lebanon to prioritize the formation of a new government and President Emmanuel Macron has been urging the country's elite to initiate reforms in exchange for long-term financial assistance. U.S. President Donald Trump, meanwhile, said that the blast had triggered a revolution in Lebanon.